Welcome to yet another episode of This Food in History. Today, we are diving into a subject literally because I was laying in bed, letting my mind wander, and the phrase, as American as apple pie, came into my train of thought. So, today we are asking, is apple pie American? Let's get this out of the way. No, it's really not. However, it does get claimed as such in one of the most American practices there is. Just saying it. So let's look more into the history. Let's step back into the first mention of apples and 328 BCE, Alexander the Great wrote about them from Kazakhstan and how they appeared dwarfed. Old Alex brings them to Macedonia to cultivate. Asia once again brings us culinary advances, spices, noodles, and apples. The Silk Road brings apples towards Western Europe, and then we're going to make a jump to the 1300s. This is where we finally learn about apple pie. Pies and tarts have been around for a bit, as we learned in my pastry video, but they tend to be more savory and fruit-based ones are just starting to emerge. We also want to note this at this time we're using coffers where the pastry coating isn't meant to be eaten, only the filling that's inside of it. This is because sugar isn't widely available and it's super expensive. By 1390, we have the first inclusion of an apple pie recipe in a cookbook, the Project Gutenberg ebook of the form of curry by Samuel Pegg. This was compiled by the chefs to King Richard II to be presented to Queen Elizabeth by Edward Lord Stafford. Number 23, for to make tarts and apples. Now we have to thank the Dutch for what we have today. The English version doesn't have the pie casings that we attribute to apple pie, but the Dutch bring us that in the 15th century. Dutch bakers created lattice style pastry and began the process of covered apple pies. This is also possible thanks to sugar being more readily available thanks to more growing and better trade. So how does it get to America? When pilgrims settled in America, they only had crab apples normally growing there. If you don't know, crab apples are sour and pretty shrunken and not great for making pastries and other things that Jamestown inhabitants loved, such as cider. These immigrants brought apple seedlings and cuttings with them, and with a little husbandry, a little help from European bees, and Johnny Appleseed Chapman, now we see over 14,000 different variances of apples. All because they loved their cider, and trees were also used to claim land. Apples were already used for pastries and pies, but with a bit of distancing act from the Britain, we also see German and Dutch immigrants influencing British, influencing British settlers with their apple pies and other pastries made using flaky, buttery based crusts. This replaced things like scones and bread puddings. America waited until 1796 for a cookbook to publish recipes for apple pie. Amelia Simmons included two separate recipes in American cookery in this first American cookbook. Fun facts for this part, in the 1890s, historians at Cambridge Hotel in Washington County, New York state that Professor Charles Watson Townsend dined regularly and, add, and had ice cream with his apple pie. Mrs. Barry Hall was dining next to him and asked what it was called. He had no name, so she dubbed it Pie a la Mode. This was loved by Professor Townsend and he used it exclusively to order at the Cambridge Hotel. And then when he, while traveling to the Del Monte, the Mancio restaurant in New York City. He ordered it there and after some confusion and a lecture from the professor, it became a regular the next day there. New York Sun picked up the story and thus a la mode became a thing. So now we have apple pie and as an easy to make and affordable dish, it's now a staple in America. But how did the saying as American as apple pie come into being? We need to hop, skip, and leap into the 20th century. In 1902, the New York Times places the pie as an American synonym for prosperity. Pie is the food of the heroic, it declared. No pie-eating people can be permanently vanquished. They kept it during the First World War, the headline in 1926. The tourist apple pie hunt is ended. American army abroad has failed again to find Europe the kind they make at home. We start seeing this phrase all over. Gettysburg's Time ads promotes new lens suits that are as American as apple pie. And in 1928, the New York Times, again, we have an article that describes the homemaking abilities of the First Lady Lou Henry Hoover, and then in World War II, it was used by the soldiers. Apple pie was about home and warmth, and they were fighting for mom and apple pie. Arthur, author Frank Shea also equated lynchings as being American as apple pie. In 1945, we hear from food editor, editor Marguerite T. Finnegan, who gave advice on fulfilling the family dream of apple pie with wartime shortages. Jesse DeBoth, a cookbook author, states in her 1951 book, It's Easy to Be a Good Cook, <clears throat> pie symbolizes so many things. The 
the energy and the effort of the woman, a man married, her wish to give him the utmost in eating enjoyment, her competence in fitting a pie into her never-ending day of homemaking. Apple pie grew into a symbol of America through motherly love, family values, and if anything, a simpler time in the country before urbanization, war, and advances changed the way we live. Apple pie survived many centuries, wars, long journeys, and immigration, while keeping its main ingredients stagnant. Apples, lemon juice, cinnamon, nutmeg, brown sugar, and it was used to bring comfort and hope to the American people. Paraphrasing from John Lendorf of the American Pie Council, it might not have been ours to invent, but we claimed it and turned it into America, which is really the most American thing of all. And that is the history of American Pie. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe while I make more of these if you're interested in catching them. Um, that was This Food in History, Apple Pies. Thanks!